Hi guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's finally sunny in London, so I'm super excited. I love the sun. Hence why my little buns are back. Um, <laughs> if you want to know how I do my buns, because I got some questions on my Instagram, I've got a tutorial, which is should be here. But today I am here with my clay wash recipe. I get so many questions about my clay wash recipe. I've been doing clay washes pretty much um, since I went natural, well, since I went natural. Um, and over time, my clay actual wash recipes have changed. And this is my final one that I am the most happy with, that I've been using the for, for the longest amount of time. Um, and I've cut out quite a lot and made it really simple, but yet still really effective at doing what it's supposed to do. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you have any questions do leave them below so yeah i'll catch you guys on the flip side have a blessed week Mwah. bye first you're going to need your applicator bottle mine takes about 16 ounces of product and then you're going to need a funnel as well as something to measure your ingredients out with your clay and i'll be using gasol and then you also need your aloe vera juice, which is super important, some water, and your essential oils. Starting off with half a cup of gasol clay. Gasol clay, also known as rasul clay by most of us. The word gasol actually comes from the Arabic word gasala, meaning to wash, which is exactly what I love it for. Rasul clay is high in minerals such as silica, magnesium, iron, calcium, sodium, and aluminium. Its highest mineral composition is silica, which makes up for 58% of its mineral content. Silica helps to prevent baldness, it stimulates hair growth, or healthier hair growth, I should say, and it also assures that your hair is beautiful and shiny and lustrous and strong. We're then going to add one cup of aloe vera juice um, and mine is the preservative free version. I will have links to all of these ingredients in the description box. Aloe vera contains proteolytic enzymes and amino acids which help to heal and repair damaged cells in your scalp. This improves follicle health and indirectly boosts healthier and faster hair growth. Not only does the proteolytic enzymes help to heal the scalp, but they also help to stimulate dormant hair follicles, promoting hair regrowth. It also helps with hair fall, controlling shedding, and ensuring that your hair remains thick and voluminous. Then we're going to add half a cup of water and then we're going to go in with our essential oils. For my mix, these two are as key as any of the other ingredients. First and foremost, peppermint. With its stimulating properties, peppermint oil helps to penetrate through your scalp surface and stimulate the follicles of your hair. It promotes blood circulation, thereby boosting hair growth. It makes your hair at the roots stronger by providing much needed nourishment. Next, I'm using rosemary antioxidant, but you can also use rosemary essential oil. Rosemary oil can counter hair loss by stimulating blood circulation in your scalp, which in turn promotes hair growth. It's also known to thicken hair, add shine, as well as luster. It cleans the hair follicles by unclogging them. Clogged follicles often lead to problems like dandruff and in excess hair fall. Once again, definitely check out my scalp video if you haven't already. And we're pretty much done. You just want to give it a really good shake, 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 shake. And this is the consistency that I prefer. Um, this is my best recipe yet, and I've absolutely been loving it. It goes on really, really smoothly. It does everything I need it to do, and it's super easy to rinse out. I don't have to spend ages rinsing my hair because it's too thick. Um, it's just perfect. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Um, um, if you would like to see my full wash day video, I will link it so you guys can check it out. God bless you all. Thank you for coming over. Be sure to subscribe if you're not. Be sure to rate the video. And of course, if you have any questions, do leave them below. Bye guys. God bless.